Good morning, friends. It's Grace here at the Comfy Nest with Grace, getting ready to do a live for uh, Craft Around the Clock. So why don't you join me? Let's get this frame better. Hello, hello. It's snowing here in North Dakota. We probably have about seven inches of snow that came overnight. School was canceled yesterday. School is canceled today. Um, happy Easter. <laughs> Happy, happy Easter! It's snow time in North Dakota. Where are you coming in from? Please say hello. Good morning, Cindy, my sweet friend. Thank you for saying that. You're so sweet. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you guys. I don't usually go live this early in the morning, so I'm so curious to see who are the early birds. I usually talk to the late night girls. Like I do late night crafting on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Central, so it's 10 p.m. Eastern, and usually we get a pretty good crowd there hanging out with me, but let's try out this morning thing. There was a slot open for Craft Around the Clock group. That's why I'm coming to you live at 8.15 this morning. Um, so I'm really curious. Candy's up and ready to go. I'm really curious to see who is going to be here this morning. Kathy is here and I see Becca is here. Good morning. Good morning. Who's at work already? What are you doing? Are you still in bed? Are you walking the dog? What's up with you? It is, we've got seven inches of snow and we're, we're supposed to get another bunch of snow today. That's what's happening in our world. Good morning, Tracy. There's my sweet friend, Tracy. So Tracy is our fabulous leader of Craft Around the Clock. That is the group um, that I am coming to, to you live for. So if you are a member of Craft Around the Clock group, it's a free group. The link is in the description of this video so you can go over and join. And you know, it's pretty cool because Tracy organizes our schedule and gets us um, crafting around the clock for you so you can see a variety of different crafters and creators and a variety of different projects. Today, we are going to be working with Crackle. So I've got this old book um, that I got. Okay, you guys, I love this book. And the reason I love it is because it's vintage. It's been, it's been used. It is very, very worn on the inside. It is from our local library. And every year, the local library, in, in conjunction with um, the American, I think it's like the Association of American University Women, AAU, AAUW, they have a big book drive to raise money um, for, their, for their organizations. And I go to the book drive and I'm able to get vintage books. I'm happy to do that. It's, it's helping out their nonprofit their association and it's also helping out me with collecting some books that we can create and craft with. So I use them and I love them. Okay, you guys, I, they get, they, it's rather than getting thrown out and there are boxes and boxes and boxes of books, like this book hadn't been taken out since 2005, <laughs> but it was first taken out in 1972, the year I was born. So I love this book. It's, it's a children's novel. And the pages are taped, I mean, they're taped, they're torn, they're stained, um, but we're gonna recreate the front of it uh, to make it something really beautiful that I can display in my house and treasure. And it smells so good. It smells like an old library book, which I love. Does anybody else love that smell? Does anybody else love the smell of old library books? Because I'm a huge fan, you guys. So what I already did to prep, this had on it, it had that little, um, you know, the catalog numbers on it with some tape over it and it, it each of these four corners were taped and I removed the tape very gently and then I took some Clorox wipes look at how dirty this is I took a um, Clorox the just the disinfecting um, liquid from the Clorox wipes and this was a paper towel and I just wiped just to get the crud off you guys and there was a lot of crud on it now we are gonna prep it to be crackled, okay? We're gonna crackle the outside. I'm just redecorating the outside, you guys. I'm going to this, the, somebody could still read the book. You could still read it if you wanted to. I'm gonna redecorate the outside and then I'm going to um, use it as a display piece. I don't know, I may sell it. I have quite a few of these books um, for myself. So maybe I'll sell it, I'm not sure. Um, but do you guys use these books? Tell me in the comments. I'm gonna grab the feed because I've got the camera angled down now. I'm gonna grab the feed on my iPad, which is right here. I'm gonna grab that so I can see who's saying what, who's here, who's saying hello, all the things, so we can chitty chat chat um, if Facebook will let me. Come on, Facebook. Catch up, man. We got things to do this morning. <laughs> we got things. 
All right, let's see if it's going to let me. There it is. I found it. All right. Phew. Now I can see you. Good morning, Penny. Hi, Debbie. I know this is not this is not my norm. This early morning is not my norm. Now, I want I'm going to crackle it. So you want a base coat first, and I don't love the orange. So I'm going to paint over this again. We're going to you put a base coat, whatever color you want to show through the crackle. Then you're going to put your crackle. Then you're going to put your main coat, like whatever color you want it to be. Um, so I'm going to do white. And actually, it's probably easier if I open this up so I can get to all of this real quick. I debated whether I should do this um, before we came live, but I decided, you know, the whole benefit of you guys <laughs> being here with us is seeing what we do. And I am, I, I will apologize um, respectfully uh, that, you know, some people will say, oh my gosh, you're defacing an old book. Um, I use old books all the time and I love, love, love to repurpose them. You guys, I just think it's, I think it's a way to honor these books that would get thrown out or they're going to sit in a closet somewhere. No one's ever going to see them. They're not going to see the light of day. There are so many books in publication now. Um, we can't possibly use them all. And I hate, hate, hate to see them get thrown out. I'd much rather give them, give them new life. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm just using some brown paint by Waverly to just get a coat of brown on here. And then we're gonna crackle with white. Good morning, Miss Pat. I just watched your live and it was so fun to see your project come together. Pat is another hostess in the Craft Around the Clock group. So if you are not a member of that, it's a free group. It doesn't cost anything to join, but it's, um, it's a fabulous collaboration of creative people coming together to bring you content around the clock. Now, I want to hit these edges, you guys. I want to hit these edges, but not get inside the book <laughs> because I don't want my pages inside to get brown. I'm just going to, I got a little extra there that I don't need. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to dry it. We're just going to take my little air dryer here and dry it. I've gathered up everything that I think I'm going to use. I know, Tony says, prayers for all of those in the storms today. Pray for the cattle ranchers, um, especially especially the cattle ranchers. They have their work cut out for them. They're trying to gather, They before the storm came, trying to gather up all their cattle. My husband was traveling um, from the south. Well, we live in the north, mid to north part of the state, and he went way south the other day for a meeting and came back up, and he said all the cattle ranchers were, days ago, in preparation for this, they were... Um, preparing, getting all of their cattle herded up close to the buildings or in the buildings if they could to protect them. You know, it's calving season, so the, the newborns are coming or are here, so it's not great timing for cattle ranchers to have this huge storm blizzard that we're in. Good morning, Molly. Hello, hello. Yeah, Nancy says, good morning, Pat. I loved watching your live. It was awesome. I watched it too. Um... Yes, and please sprinkle or fluff the nest. When we say those kinds of things, sprinkle the love, sprinkle the blessings, fluff the nest, we're asking you to share, and sharing helps us to meet new people. So it's a, a great way to support anybody on Facebook or social media that you enjoy. I'm going to hit this with some hard air. We're going to come at it with some strong air to get this to dry up. Now... I would consider this a mixed media project. We are going to be adding some really chunky ribbon to this. I got this awesome ribbon. We're going to add this. We are going to decoupage on some graphics. Um, it's going to look completely different, but we got to get this base done first. So hang tight, girls, guys and gals. We're going to make this thing pretty. I'm a girly girl. I like the pretty things. So I love things that are very flowery and, you know, all the things. I love florals. And I love texture. So any bit of texture. I've got like a buildup of paint right there and right here where it was really thick. My Waverly paint, uh, it's old and thick. So I'm just going to, for the sake of letting that dry sooner, I'm going to wipe it off. And look what I get. Listen. Listen. Listen to me, friends. 
um, it got all gnarly, my paint right there, because it's thick. Let me show you. See, it's a little gnarly right there. I love gnarly. <laughs> I love it. We're going to be texturizing it. So I'm totally good with it getting gnarly because that's the whole name of the game for me. But we need this to dry so we can, text we can texture even more. Um, good morning, Barbara. Hey, Cindy. There is a blizzard here in North, North Dakota, Caroline. We are in the middle of a blizzard. The kids are, were off from school yesterday, off from school today. We got seven inches at least overnight. Um, high winds. Um, blizzard conditions in the plains where we live, when we have a lot of open land, um, when, the, when we have a blizzard, so we have snow coming down and really high winds, the visibility is very, very bad for driving, um, especially in open country. So there was no uh, travel advice yesterday. The other thing that happens is the roadways get iced up, um, which is very dangerous. All right, so see right here, I don't have great coverage right there in the crease. That I do, but right there I don't. I'm not even gonna, I don't think I'm even gonna worry about it, am I? Let's see, we could add just a little more brown right there on these corners. I'm not gonna worry too much about that because it's gonna get covered again with lots of other stuff. In fact, I'm gonna try to put that, that beautiful purple lace ribbon, I'm gonna try to put that over, um, over the binding actually. So that'll probably all get covered up. Okay, I think we're good to go here. I think we're good to go. Oh, no, right here is a little wet really want this dry before I do the next. You, there's a lot of early birds here. Oh my gosh, there's 111 of you. Maybe my crafty chicks are early birds. What can I say? How many of you are here for the first time from Craft Around the Clock? Please give me that feedback. That is so helpful for me to know. I can see my text BFFs. All the ladies who are regular Comfy Nest um, friends, we call, her, we call each other crafty chicks. And like I see Terry text VFF. If they are on my texting service, I call them my text VFFs because it's a two-way service. So I can text all of you. I can text any of you individually, but you can text me back, which many of you do, and we chitty chat chat. <laughs> so that's really fun. Um, all right, I'm gonna leave it open because we're gonna put the Crackle Medium on next. Um, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, I got this. For 99 cents. <laughs> so let's hope it's still working. Um, I think it'll be fine either way. We're going to make this work. I'm going to put a whole lot of this on here and we're going to let it dry. Now the crackling doesn't come until you put the next layer on. Okay, so no magic yet. You do this. You got to let this medium, we call it a crackle medium. I actually don't even have to do here because I'm going to cover that, I think, with the, uh, with the ribbon. But I want the rest of it to be crackled. So I'm gonna spread this out. We're gonna let it dry. And then the magic, the magic of the crackle happens when you, when you add the next color on, and I'm gonna add white. So I can prep my white, I can prep my ribbon while this is kind of settling into the book. And I can check comments. <laughs> so I love, I would love to know from you guys. I know some of my crafty chicks, I know what you like. I know the kinds of crafting that you enjoy and prefer because you hang out with me here pretty regularly. Um, some of you are in my paid membership groups. Some of you are fans or subscribers of the page. That's a new service that I'm offering um, right here on the business, on this Facebook business page where you pay $1.99 a month and you get access to more content. Um, and there are perks, like you get a little badge next to your name. If you see anybody that has a little badge next to their name here um, watching, I think it's like a little teal badge and it has a heart in it. It looks like a little banner. It's adorable. Um, those are all supporters of the page. So thank you for that. They're supporting by, they sign up. It's a buck 99 a month and you get charged every month, but they get access to um, more content, exclusive content just for them. 
Patty says, I love seeing the crackle. I've never tried it. Okay, so there are so many different crackles out there and I have tried many of them, you guys. I've tried many of them. And I get mixed results. I really do. I have to be totally honest with you. Um, but we're going to give this one a whirl today. So my plan, we put the crack, we base coat is the dark one. You don't have to do it this way, but traditionally. Base coat is the dark coat that will show through the crackle, okay? It doesn't have to be dark. You could do light underneath and dark on top. Doesn't matter, but you want to have contrasting colors, light and dark. So I did dark on the bottom. Then you put your crackle. You got to let that dry. Then I'm going to come on top and I'm going to put white and the white will crack showing the brown underneath. Then we are going to decoupage some of this on here. Okay, so I'm going to prep some of my other materials. So this is what I would call a mixed media project. And we do a lot of this in the craft therapy club. Um, in fact, this month we're doing 3D mixed media panels. Um, we love art journaling and junk journaling and bookmaking and just general craft in general we love crafts so if that's you if you really like to explore a lot of variety and learn a lot of variety um you are welcome to join us in the craft therapy club and there's a five dollar coupon right now and this month actually i'm sending all the members are getting um a little gift in the mail i'm sending them something that they can use in their project this month I do too. Tita says, I love things all mixed media. I do too. I'm a huge fan of mixed media. I love like taking all of the things that we have in our, in our craft closet, our craft bin, um, our craft room and, and kind of throwing them at a project. Hey, Sheila in Ohio. Thanks for being here. She's a newbie. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, thanks. Pat, you're so sweet. You, I love, love, love that we, we crafters, uh, um, the overwhelming majority, I mean, this is a blanket statement, yes, but the overwhelming majority of crafters, so supportive, so kind, so welcoming of one another. Okay, look at this. I got this at the thrift store, you guys, for $3.99 at the thrift store. It is a whole lot of this gorgeous, like, lace trim, and it has a purple ribbon going through it. Whoops. And I don't know... Um, I don't know if I want to keep the purple ribbon or not, but I want to affix this to the base here. So I want to cut it, like I'm going to cut it right here maybe. I can always trim it down a little more. I, I think that I'm going to have a hard time, I'm going to show this to you really close here. I think that I'm going to have a hard time keeping this purple ribbon. It just is intertwined, but it's cut short on this end. I mean, I got it at the thrift store, guys. So I don't know that I'm going to be able to keep that purple ribbon, you know, to stay in there, but it will come right out. I mean, it's just intertwined in there. So I think I'm going to remove it just to make that easier to glue down when it's time. And um, I, I just think that'll make my life easier if I just take this little bit of ribbon out. Maybe we can use it somewhere else on the project. We'll see. I love, I love using all the supplies, folks. I love it. I love to really... Um, capitalize on your investment on your supplies. So let's use it all. Isn't it so pretty, Terry? What a score, right? What a score that was for $3.99. So beautiful. It's more like a lace with the ribbon entwined in it. It's so, I don't know if it's, what would you call this? Embroidery or is it crocheted? I don't know. I'm not a huge textile. I, I don't know how to knit or embroider or any of that, but isn't it, Rita, isn't it gorgeous? Rita said, I love that. I love that. <laughs> okay. Unique. Um, Pat is commenting. <laughs> she, okay. Someone said second time watching and I'm an early bird. That is so good to know because Pat and I are generally night owls. I come on usually at night, every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Central for sure. And then you're going to find me mixed in. I go live weekly inside the Craft Therapy Club, bi-weekly in my Napkin Lovers Club. And then for now, the subscribers, people who are subscription people, I'm going live in there. Like this is a book that I'm going to fill um, for subscribers. So this was a book we created a couple of weeks ago. It's a junk journal. It's made out of an envelope from Amazon. <laughs> and I'm going, and then I, I filled it. I showed them how to fill it, how to tie it together. 
and then I'm going to fill all these journal pages with different journal entries, like art journaling. Um, and that's gonna be for subscribers only. It's $1.99 a month. So I love to use all the things, but I usually go live either late night or midday. So this early morning, and to have 155 of you guys, this is phenomenal. I'm so excited. And for all you newbies, so good to meet you. All right, let's hit this with a little air. Oh, I wanted to talk to you too about the napkin. So one of my crafty chicks, and she's here right now, Terry. Terry sent me this enormous box yesterday of goodies, and I opened it all yesterday. And one of the goodies was this gorgeous napkin. And when you buy napkins, now you get a whole lot of napkins, and each napkin has four decorative panels on it, right? So that's a lot of napkins to work with. <laughs> they will tell you on the back how many plies, like this is three ply, right here. Right here, it says three ply. And we wanna separate the plies. The plies are, whoops, I got a little, little lint here. I don't think it really matters, but a little bit of lint on there. Um, the, the three plies, what you wanna do is separate your napkin because you wanna get to the top layer. So let me show you this in a minute here. Let me add some air. Good morning, Shelly. Hello, hello. Good morning, Mary. First time here from Iowa. Welcome, welcome, Miss Iowa. It's like a pageant. I'm going to call you Miss Iowa. <laughs> and there's Pat from Miss North Carolina is here. Pat from North Carolina. Good morning, she says. Love the ribbon. Can't wait to see what you do with the book. Well, me too. <laughs> me too. We want this to dry. So, just so you guys know, with Craft Round the Clock, so those of you who are Craft Round the Clock regulars, you know this. We craft around the clock. There are dozens of creative business owners and creative people like me who sign up and there's a schedule, we schedule it weeks in advance where we sign up for slots. Everybody gets a slot and there's one crafter after another all day long, showing you all this inspiration, all these crafty projects, all these techniques. Well, uh, that lint was really bugging me. Um, in that group, because it's on a schedule, we have 45 minutes to do our project. So it's a little dangerous. <laughs> I'm living on the edge, girls. I'm living on the crafty edge right now. A little dangerous doing multiple layers of wet. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. Good morning, Jimmy Swift. But this is just about dry. Just about. Ideally, you would let this just walk away, go do your laundry, go watch a TV show, go for your walk, play with the dog. I mean, Ideally, you would let this just dry on its own time, but we don't have that kind of time, girlfriends, and I want to show you this project. Living on the edge, Cindy. It's the craft. We're living on the crafty edge right now. This heat gun, I got it from Amazon. It's in my Amazon store, and it gets stinking hot. Like, it has all the attachments. I only ever use this one, but it comes with all these attachments, attachments to do different things. But it's, it, it has lots of different um, heat settings and the two speeds for the, for the air to come out. I'm trying to see. We're doing pretty good. <laughs> I've been known, I just thought of this. I've been known to do these books upside down. Like, I gotta make sure I'm right side up. Okay, let's talk about the napkin really quick. When you get your napkins, they come in plies. Two ply, three ply. Most of the time, it's either two or three ply. Okay, when you open it up, generally, to get them separated, this is interesting. Even for those of you who are in my Napkin Lovers Club, here's a little tip for you, an interesting thing that you may run into sometimes. I ran into it this morning, so I'm gonna bring it up and, and show you this, this tip. Okay, most of the time you wet your fingers. A lot of people lick. It's gross, I know. Lick your fingers and then do this to the end until they separate so you can peel it apart. I usually dip my fingers into my little water bin for my paintbrushes and then try to separate. Some people use washi tape to try to separate. 
generally when I wet my fingers and, and clamp on it like that, the two plies separate. This one was not given up. Like, it would not. I tried on several corners. You can see how it's all like kind of wonky there. I tried on several corners and it was not given up. And I think it's because when you look at the back side of the napkin, do you see this like the pattern there? There's like a pattern. It looks almost like it's been embossed. I think they stitch the napkin through. See that like embossing pattern there? It looks like little diamonds. That holds the plies together without having to use any glue. It just, that little bit of stitching, that little bit of embossing holds, and they only do it on the outside layer. I could not get the thing to give up. It would not separate. So knowing that I only wanted to use a corner of the napkin, what I did was I kind of measured out what part of the napkin I wanted to use and I tore it out. Then, got to trick the napkin now, girls. Show it, show it who's in charge. Here's what I tore out. Cannot, I could not get the edges to separate. So I came to the middle part where there's no, no embroidered um, embossing. And then it was able to separate. And you can see there's one ply, two plies, three plies. We want to remove the extra plies. We don't want three plies. We just want the top decorative part. So we're going to separate. My napkin ripped. You know, I've been handling it. I've been mangling it a little bit. So it ripped right here. It's not a problem. We're going to glue this down on the book and have this really gorgeous decorative floral for the front of the book. So there's your little tip today for the napkin. Um, if that embossing is getting in your way, figure out what part of the napkin you want to use if you can. I tore it and then I, I approached it from the middle. Oh, Craft Around the Clock TV is here. That's exciting. Hey, Kimberly, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Okay, we're in pretty good shape. This little part right here needs a little extra help. And I think so it's basically dry. This part right here where it's really thick, you can see right there, it's a little tacky, but we're gonna move on because we got, we gotta get going. Okay, I'm gonna grab some white paint. I'm gonna put it in my little palette here. Let me get the camera back down so you can see what I'm doing. White paint in my palette. You're gonna want it thick, you want it thick, meaning lots. You don't wanna go skimpy here on the paint. I had another paintbrush out and I lost it. Oh, here it is. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Grab a paintbrush and we're gonna just start getting this on here. This is just chalk paint. Doesn't matter if it's acrylic, doesn't matter if it's chalk. We are going to layer this on here and we want it pretty thick, okay? This is gonna start the texturing part, the, the crackle part. Don't, I'm going to be decoupaging over this and we're going for rustic, chippy, crackled, right? We want it to look like an old crack, like the leather cover crackled. So try, it's already starting, you guys. See the crackle coming? Try to get on a nice thick layer. Then do not, do not keep brushing over and over again. Do it once, let it be. And see the crackle that's coming? That was the first swipe. This was the second swipe. This was the third swipe. This is the fourth. And it's already, look at that gorgeous crackle. Eek, it's so exciting. Okay, I used up almost all of my paint. So I'm gonna grab some more so I can do the other side. I am gonna do the binding, even though the binding, um, I am gonna cover it with, with that beautiful ribbon, but I don't want the brown showing, right? So I'm gonna swipe this. Even if it doesn't crackle, I'm not worried about it not crackling because it's gonna be covered by ribbon, I hope. Look at you guys, isn't that gorge? Do you see what I'm saying about the, the contrast? It doesn't matter. I get a little buildup right there, so I'm just going to wipe it off. It does not matter if you put a, like a really brighter color on the underside and a darker color on top. That doesn't matter, but it should be contrasting because you want the crackle. Once it crackles, you want that other color to show through. So it should be the opposite. If you put dark underneath, put light on top. If you put light underneath or um, dark underneath and put 
the opposite. Just do the opposite. I can't even concentrate. I'm so concentrated on making sure that I get my, my paint on there. Look at it. It's already crackling like I can't even keep up. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? All right, I need to just a little more. I already ran out of paint. Do you see I'm using a lot of paint? You want to have a nice thick coat and it will crackle like pretty much right away. We want to get a nice thick coat on here. But do you see I'm trying not to go over the same place twice. Like get the paint on there and then leave her be, honey. Do not mess with it. Okay, I'm gonna close it. See what's happening? This is really thick right here. Let's just smooth that out a little bit. See how fast it happens? And I, this, this bit of texture that's gonna come from the different levels of paint that's on there, that doesn't bother me in the least because I want it to look really grungy. I'm gonna hit these edges to make sure I got good coverage there. And then the last thing I wanna do, see how my ends are still brown? I'm just gonna dry brush some of that white on these edges. I got a lot right there, let's wipe that off. And I can clean up the edges later, right? But I don't wanna forget about those edges. See them, I want them to be matching the, the top, right? So see, I'm gonna just go through and dry brush all of the edges of my cover. See, I want that to be white. How are we doing on time? Can anybody give me a time check? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? It's so fast. Let me do a quick time check. We're gonna hit this with some heat. I'm not gonna worry about the edges a whole lot right now, that fussy business, because I can do that later. Because I want to then decoupage on top of that. Oh, I got like 10 minutes, more, a little more than 10 minutes. 14 minutes, we're good, we're good, girlfriends. Do you see this? Do you see that crackle? Shut the front door, people. <laughs> It's just so beautiful. It's, I mean, I can't with that. What beautiful results. I know, Kathy. All these visitors here, I love it. I love it, I love it. I love seeing all these visitors. It's really thick right here. You guys. I know this is really up close and personal to this project. When you sign up for one of my membership groups, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a, a talk through the whole thing. The pluses, the minuses, what to do, what not to do. Um, I, I'm not sure I've never done this before. I'll tell you it all. I'm pretty much an open book, but I am going to show you up close and personal. I am going to make suggestions for you with product. I am going to teach you different techniques that you can then, I'm also going to teach you how to use the techniques together to get the results that you want. It's going to broaden your, your crafting abilities and your confidence. It's going to help you feel really confident when you go in on your project. I'm offering $5 off right now to anybody who joins my craft therapy club. We are doing mixed media canvases this month. Let me show you one of my sample ones. Um, I did a dark one and I did a light one. So we are, I'm teaching them how to do this this month. It's a mixed media canvas and we're going to use everything but the kitchen sink here <laughs> and create these gorgeous canvases. And everybody who joins this month, you're getting a free gift this month, um, a glue that you can use on your projects that I use all the time and it's great for holding heavy things down. Thanks, Julie. Thank you for saying that. Right, Agatha? The perfect look for that book. So I got this thick patch right here that it's just really thick paint, so it's taken a second to dry. It's actually, it's a little bit damp right there. But look at the crackle I'm getting. Look how deep that crack is. Oh my gosh, it's so luscious. Can I use the word luscious to describe crackle? <laughs> Can we use the word luscious? Debbie says it's beautiful. Tammy says I love Grace's $1.99 subscription group. Love, love, love her layering techniques. Tammy, thank you for saying that. So Tammy's a supporter of the page. You can see the little um, badge in front of her name that has the heart in it. That means she's a supporter. 
here at The Comfy Nest, and I appreciate every single one of you who do that. You pay $1.99 a month, you're gonna get exclusive content, exclusive discounts, behind the scenes. The other day we were reorganizing my craft room and I was showing them the bins that I purchased for that. It's a great introduction to the membership groups, but those of you who are in the membership groups, the content that I'm doing for subscribers isn't even available to you guys. So it's a great addition if you're already in, say, the Craft Therapy Club. All right, so we have our crackle. We are gonna decoupage this. This is one of the printable graphics that I have available um, on my website, if you go to the thecompanyassetgrace.com. So it looks like this. It comes in either five by seven or eight by 10. And it says, where flowers bloom, so does hope, from Lady Bird Johnson. And then I created that little graphic, that adorable bunny, which I'm gonna put her on the cover of my book. And the crackle is gonna show through. I printed it on tissue paper. I printed it on like regular tissue paper and we are gonna just decoupage it on here. So I'm gonna use my favorite decoupage medium for um, doing decoupage with thin. I'm talking about decoupaging thin things. I think, I think I'm gonna put this right in the middle. I think we're just gonna go right in the middle. So I'm gonna come on top of my crackle and put a little bit of this glue and then I'm gonna put my tissue paper into the glue. And then I use my pouncing brush and I'm gonna pounce that into the crackle. And the crackle is gonna show through the tissue paper, which is gonna look really, really cool. You do not need a lot of glue because it's tissue paper. It's gonna absorb that glue pretty quickly. On this edge, I missed a little, so I'm gonna come over it with a little bit of my glue. Ooh, look what I did to my crackle. Ah, it's too wet yet. All right, be careful, girls. I'll I'll da I'll uh, fix that later. I'll just add a little white paint to that later. Okay, so see how that just disappeared right into the book, and the crackle shows right through it. Holy, that crackle like it's working overtime. We got some serious crackle going right there. Okay, this part is still a little bit wet. So if I try, I want to put my na this napkin here just to get some color on the back. Isn't that gorgeous? This um, this graphic you can buy on my website. It's a printable graphic. It's a dollar. You can buy it in five by seven or eight by 10, or you can grab both. You'll get it immediately. As soon as you pay for it, there's no shipping involved. It's just, you can download it right on your computer and print it. Wow. The crackle that I got going right here is unbelievable. It is so thick and chunky. I think it's dry enough. It'd be thick and chunky crackle. My, um, the air made my napkin blow away. So thank you to Terry for sending me these napkins. I'm gonna use it right now on the back of this book. Now, 45 minutes, that's my limit here. So I'm trying to show you as much as I can in 45 minutes. Know that if I would highly recommend that when you do this, you do it in layers and you just give it its own time to dry. I think you'll enjoy the process more. You'll have more fun with it. You won't feel the the, the pressure <laughs> that I'm feeling a little bit to um, do it all so quickly. Just let the products dry on their own. I'm really pushing them to dry quickly so that I can showcase this to you. But I would advise when you do this, just to let it do its own thing. Let it let it do it on its own. Okay, this napkin isn't quite white. It's got almost a really light green. It's a beautiful background. A little bit light green, bluish light green. I'm pushing my napkin, which is so thin. It's like tissue paper, really thin. I'm pushing it into that thin layer of glue. And then anywhere I missed, I can just add a little more glue, put it down and push it in. That's it. I've got some overage, right? I, I did that because there was some writing on the bottom of the napkin and I did not want it on my project. I'm gonna fortify the edges with a little bit of glue. Very gently. Okay, I'll hold that up close so you can see the crackle coming through there. 
We're talking texture. I am a huge fan of texture, you guys. I just love it. Um, I just love it so much. What do we think? What does everybody think of this? Thank you for sharing, Miss Molly. Sharing my website, you're the bomb.com. Tony, isn't it beautiful? You guys can totally do this. If you know what products to use and you know what, like, um, order to do things in, you can totally handle this. I know you can. Now, I've got a little bit, I've got a little bit of a color difference. A little bit of a color difference. Okay, this was white tissue paper, seamless. You cannot see the tissue paper at all. The graphic just went on the top. This has almost like a light green. Can you see the background of this napkin? It's like a light green. So it's not quite the same white that's on top. So what I'm gonna do, this is just personal preference. You don't have to do this. I'm gonna grab like a bushy <laughs> um, brush. I'm gonna put a little bit of white on there, my white paint that I used for my crackle, and I'm just going to hit the edges of my napkin and draw a little bit of white into the napkin. And I'll show you close up here. I'm hitting the edges so that those edges are more seamless. So they look like they're blending or melding, I like to use the word melding, into the napkin better. So see what I did? I took this white and I just stippled it in like anywhere where there's, um, you can hit the, the florals a little bit. You know, that's not gonna hurt anything. But the goal is to try to get the edges of the napkin to kind of disappear right into that white. So it looks more gradual. It doesn't look like, oh, this is green, this is white. It They blend into each other more and it looks like a more gradual. So see right here? That's really a good place to get that stippled white in because it helps to make it look more cohesive. You can also take it and put it anywhere where this, that green, just add a little bit more of that white to make the background of the napkin really blend. Okay, little tip for you. I'm full of tips, girls. I'm full of the tips. <laughs> Become a supporter, $1.99 a month. You will get more exclusive content like this. Uh, a great introduction to some of the membership groups. I'm just happy to have you guys here, though, and to meet you all. So this is what we got so far. I do have this big flub up here. Um, tell me, would you leave it? Would you fix it? Would you leave it or would you fix it, I wonder? I think I could leave it and it looks super chippy, it looks really old, which is the look that we're going for. Um, the last thing that I wanted to do was to get that ribbon on the edges, but let me check my time real quick. Oh, I've got three minutes so I won't get to it. So here's what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen, this is what I do. So I'm not finishing this. I'm going to go live right when I'm done here. I'm gonna glue this down here. I'm gonna use my favorite glue for chunky things that whole the whole um the glue that i use to glue all this stuff down and you can see how chunky it is it's the same glue i don't use a hot glue gun i'm using a professional art glue i'm going to, and you guys can get access to it i'm going to send everybody in the craft therapy club a sample of this this month so they can use it on their projects i'm going to glue this down and that's just going to give it a really beautiful um fabric soft feel to the cracky look of it um but because we're out of time i can't do that now 180 says she'd fix it barbara says leave it jenna says leave it Tam Tam tamara tamara i love that name she says leave it paula says leave it i think leave it too and let me tell you there's no right or wrong doesn't matter whatever you want to do girl you do you that's what we say you do what you think is best you do what you think is best you're welcome becca thank you for being here so Craft around the clock, there is a full schedule today. So go check that out. The link of um, the link is in the description of this video. I would be so honored, especially if you're new here, but even if you're not new, please make sure that you've hit that follow button so that notifications will show more often for the Comfy Nest with Grace. If you really wanna make sure you don't miss out on anything, get on my text service, text me alerts to that number um, or become a follower. Pay $1.99 a month right here through Facebook and you can follow and get exclusive content just for subscribers. And that you can cancel anytime. 
if you're not into it, if the $2 a month, if it's not worth your investment, which I cannot imagine, it's like the price of a cup of coffee at a gas station, um, you could always cancel anytime. But I'm going to go live right after this inside my subscriber portal just for subscribers so you guys can see me finish this up. And I will post a picture in the Craft Around the Clock group of the finished project. Um, but if you want to see the technique of how to add this fabric lace onto this um, and to finish up, I've got to clean up my napkin here. Um, become a subscriber and that content will just live there if you don't catch the live you can always catch the video recording okay so if you have any questions don't be afraid to message me um, i'm just going to text i'm trying to check the comments again real quick see if there were any last minute thank you for following june i so appreciate you guys listen following positive uplifting comments on our content whether it be a photo that we share or a live or a video all of those things help to support creatives like me. So thank you to every one of you who take the time to comment. Take the time to hit that little share button. We appreciate you so much. Leave it as is, Tina says. I like it the way it is, too. Deborah says it's the best $1.99 ever. <laughs> Deborah, you're so right. I think it's such a worthy investment into your craft um, world. It's just going to expand your craft horizons quite a bit. Following and you sprinkled Agatha, you are the bomb.com friend. I'm so happy to share. I'm so happy. So you're welcome. Debbie, join one of the groups and you will learn more about the products that I use. I'm so glad, Barbara. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. I'm going to have a little more coffee. Do you want to see what it's like outside just real quick? Do you want to see? Hold on. I'll give you a little view of my, you'll get a little sneak peek at my space. But look at you guys, right out my room. We got snow, lots of snow. We're in a blizzard. <laughs> Crazy, right? Crazy. Crazy town. All right, you guys, have a beautiful, blessed day. Go make something pretty that brings your heart joy.